going on everybody for First We Feast. I'm Sean Evans coming at you from beautiful Staten Island, New York, where I'm joined by Dominic Murano. He's the heir to the Prince Street Pizza throne, home to the Soho Square and one of the best new school slice joints in all of New York City. But today we're doing something a little bit different. Dominic has invited us to his family home so that we can do a good old fashioned home cook Neapolitan round pie. And then we're gonna deliver our creation to perhaps our harshest critics to date, his family. But first things first, Dominic, you know, there's a pizza slice shop on every corner in New York City. Why cook at home? Why not? It makes it fun for the family. We all hang out. It's a good bonding experience. And it's also good to learn how to cook on your own. Why have to go pay somebody else to make your food? I don't trust other people making my food sometimes. You can't see behind that wall. You don't know what's going on. And it's just, it's fun to do it yourself sometimes. What's the law according to Dominic? Any do's, any don'ts? At Prince Street Pizza, there's about four commandment rules. Okay. First rule is you don't dab the pizza. You don't take a napkin and dab it. Second rule is you don't use a fork and a knife. It's not pasta. It's not real Parmesan. It's a pizza, All right. use it by hand. The third one, you don't ask for condiments. You don't ask for ranch, blue cheese, ketchup, mayo, etc. What happens if you ask for condiments? The pizza guy, Frank, will come in, he'll put the money back on the counter, and he'll tell you, you'll no come back here. You'll no, this is a disgrace. You'll no come back here, this is mine. I'm an artist, I'm an artist pizza man. You'll no do this. Taking it seriously. And the fourth commandment is you have to fold it down the middle. You can't just eat it like that, all the cheese will fall off. Dom, are we ready to jump in here? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. So I can tell by the way we've staged this set that we're starting with the dough. Talk to me about dough. Well, with a dough, you can either buy it from the store or you can make it at home. If you want to make it at home, you get a mixer, some flour, some water, a couple other ingredients, and you can just do it that way, but who has time for that? It's a busy day. This is New York. It's fast. So you, you, can trust, you can trust store dough, is what you're telling me? 100%, yeah. 100%. They can't, they can't mess it up. I'm ready, let's go down. Let's not make it to pizza. First things first, you gotta take it from the sides, make sure they're not hitting nothing. So now you're gonna pull this fast. See how it's nice and round? Love it. You're gonna take your flour, just easily. Not too hard, not too soft. You don't wanna put any holes in your dough. Once you can put any holes in dough, you might as well throw it in the garbage. So you wanna give it a try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give it a try. All right, so watch me separate. You can't have them touching. I learned nope. that from my buddy Dom. There you go. Come on, you got it. Was that was that pretty yeah, good? Yeah, no, go from the, go from the front. And then you already left it off. Now easily, Bam. now even everything out. You can pull it out. Boom. Now put it right here. So now you take the flour, just get a little bit around your area. Spread it out nice. Make a little bit of a mess. Yeah, go ahead, go nuts. That's why we're at home, we're here to have fun. <laughs> this is why we're not in the store. If you want, because the oven's a little bit smaller at home, if people buy a whole pizza, you actually gotta cut it to make it a little bit smaller for it to fit in the oven. Wanna give it a try? I'll give it a try, I'm nervous about this one. Don't be nervous. Just don't make it too small. No, you're doing good. Go, 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 go ahead. You're doing good, you're doing good. Keep going, keep going. Bam. Now if you want, we can put these to the side, we'll make Zeppelis later. Keep your hands up a little bit apart and just start pressing down easily. Don't dab at it. Don't push down. Just easily put your fingers down. Palm it basically. All you're gonna do is just you're gonna move it this way, just counterclockwise. Just wax on, wax off. Literally. It's legitimately the same exact motion. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. There you go. I feel like <laughs> it's not going as well as yours. It's like an arrowhead. Right. It's a heart-shaped pizza. It's all right. That's what I'm going for. It's all it's about all right. the love today, Dom. No problem. So now what we're gonna do is pick it up, flop it on your own. Now, back and forth. Maybe once or twice. That's about it. Now do you wanna learn how to spin? Yep. You're gonna bite this. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna toss it. There you go. Spin. And spin. Just stay out of the middle because you're gonna you're gonna your hand's gonna go right through it. Take a pizza like this and just flop it right on there. This is, you actually made it a little bit better than mine. Mine's actually a little bit too big for the paddle. Yours is a good personal size. You just learned the biggest step of making pizza. That was the hardest part. The dough is the toughest part. Dough is the toughest part. Now, we gotta put the sauce on. All right, working our way to the other side of the kitchen for the next step, we have to make some sauce. And for the sauce step, we have a very special guest. We do have a very special guest. It's my mother. <laughs> I'm here. 
You got me, man? I got gotcha. you. Okay. This is my mother's home-cooked marinara sauce. Passed down from my family from generation to generation. So if we mess it up, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be on it. Uh, I'm watching. I got She's you. A Make sure we get this right. I am a hawk with my Make sauce. Make sure Go we ahead. get this right. All right, so what's the first step? First step, we need oil, oil. right? Oil. Put your flame a little higher. Higher, ma? Yes. Next step is garlic, right, ma? Yep. Now, do you want me to crush it or you want me to slice it? Slam it. And then too much garlic, too little garlic. You gotta it's get right It's up to your preference. Garlic. I like five to a can. Maybe five to a can. You could even, if you don't like garlic, you could fry it, take it out. But you have the flavor of it in your oil. I put hot pepper flake only because I like it a little spicy. Gives it that little extra kick. Did I you see taste you. It? I see you. <laughs> Boom. Say one more. Good. Some people don't believe in cooking with salt. They're afraid of it. They honestly are. Pepper. And you eat their, yeah, a lot of pepper. And you eat their food and it's so bland. Oh, you could add the salt? No, the salt brings out the flavor sometimes of the tomato and the gar, it does. Important step. You can use a red wine and it honestly enhances the flavor. Only a good wine. I don't use a cooking wine. I use a good wine that I would drink. Good. Right now I'm just trying to mix all the ingredients together to just have some continuity in the sauce, just so it's all evened out. But once you get to a certain point, you just leave it on sim and then you're fine. Would you ever use jarred sauce on your pizza? Do I want to come over and give you a slap? <laughs> never, never. Golf a bit. I, never, never. There's no need for a jar sauce. If everybody just follows my recipe, you'll have marinara all the time. Get a nice big scoop. You're gonna put it right in the middle. If you think that's enough, and just start spreading, just go circular, circular. See all those hunks of fresh garlic in there? That's that's how you know it's real. And those that's how pieces. you know it's real. Going with a heaping spoonful, plopping right it in, the, in middle. the middle, and then bam. And just gradually get bigger with it. Just don't keep too much sauce in the middle because then your pizza will cave in. Well, did I put too much sauce on? You can never have too much sauce. So for the people making this at home, mm -hmm. how do you go after the mozzarella here? You can make it thin, but then it's gonna somewhat evaporate on the pie, it's gonna burn really fast. So you want a little bit chunkier, it's just so it doesn't burn as quick, because it'll burn on the top and then it'll, it's just like eating charcoal, it's nasty. This is a stick pepperoni that comes from Prince Street Pizza. I ain't giving out the name, because if I give you the name, you're probably gonna make it out of this house. Now, if you wanna learn a trick to do at home that you really can't do in the store, because it kind of violates health code violations, which we don't <laughs> want, just keep it and open it up a little bit. Whoa, just get so some you get a little wave action. So, so it comes off the paddle faster. It doesn't, it doesn't stick. stick. The paddle. All right. There you go. Perfect. Now just leave it at that. Yeah, it gets in your eye. You get used to it after a while. <laughs> so we're ready to put the pizza in the oven, but before we get to that finish line, what do the people at home need to know? What you want to do is preheat your oven at the highest temperature it can go. I put it in around 500 degrees. If you have an oven, then go to 550, that's beautiful. Do it at that. Set the stones in there for about an hour, hour and a half, so it uh, heats up a little bit, and then put your pizza in there for about 10 minutes, pop it out, and you're good to go. All right, so we're here at the dinner table. The pies are out. And I don't mean to pat myself on the back too much here, but out of the oven, I have to say, I made a damn good looking pizza, but it really means nothing unless it gets your cosign, mom. So that's what we're gonna do. What Let's are you looking it. for in a good looking pizza? Oh, not saggy, not floppy. It could be floppy. No, it? I don't like flop. No, no, mm, it smells good. Passing the smell test. Passing the smell Passing test. Passing the eyeball test. Eyeball test, you're a hundred. Oh, gross. It's amazing. You're not just saying that. No, I'm not. I wouldn't Because I have thick skin. I'm, I have thick skin. No. You can go Staten Island on me. I'm still mm. telling you, there's no way mm. you're going to believe we made this at home. No way. And that's a good point because, you know, people might be slightly intimidated by it. I know it's pizza, it's not the hardest thing to make in the world, but you really can, at home, body a restaurant as long as you just keep it going, keep it practicing, get the ingredients right, mm -hmm. get your technique down. And it doesn't have to look perfect. They followed my recipe. It's absolutely delicious. 
Well, there you have it. It's the Prince Street Pizza Commandments. Now you know how to make this beautiful meal at home and no more excuses when it comes to eating sauce out of a jar. No more. There's no <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Mozzarella. Oh, oh that hurt out. you. That, that brought pain to your heart the way I said that. <laughs> I have people online in the store. I want to die. Can I get some mozzarella? Mozzarella. No, it's mozzarella. Mozzarella. Mozzi.